all right students so very warm welcome to this particular course once again and today's topic is sequence and series why we have started with sequence series let me be very clear it's one of the most important topics as per your je mains syllabus every year two questions are asked of sequence and series yes two questions so you can understand out of 30 you have two questions coming from a single chapter the weightage is really very very high now coming to the difficulty level of this chapter the difficulty level is easy to moderate. So that's why we call it moderately easy. That means you would be able to solve questions provided you have that simple analytical mindset. Now there are a lot of topics which are covered in this particular chapter, but we are not going to cover all of them. Why? Because, so you must have seen there are AP, GP, uh, then HP, there is AGP, arithmetic geometric progression. Uh, then there is uh, sum of special series, VN method, method of reference. There are a lot of stuff that goes in for this chapter. What we guys are going to focus, and here is for you the analysis of last six years trend that we have seen. Jab se IIT J mains hua, okay? So that's the trend is which says that questions coming from this chapter fall under four major categories. How they are segregated? Here is a pie chart for you. 46% of the questions that come comprises of basic simple properties of AP and GP. Can you just imagine? So that means most of your concentration of this particular chapter should be on doing the basics of AP and GP itself. You do not require doing difficult questions, difficult topics of this chapter. 46% chances are there that a question will come from properties of AP and GP itself. That is why the lecture one of this particular course sequence series is predominantly based on questions involving AP and GP, right? 46%, so almost nearly 50%. So, this means that one question is hai that in a paper, one question will definitely come from properties of AP and GP, right? If we just go by the past year analysis. Next big chunk, which you can see from the part, which are pi is summation of series. This is sum of special series, which is more importantly is known as uh, sum of first and natural numbers, sum of squares of first and natural numbers, sum of cubes of first and natural numbers. These are the things which are asked. So we'll be concentrating on them in tomorrow's video. 10% of the times you will find that the questions are being asked of insertion of means. And 7% is basically question based on maxima and minima. So a lot of times, a lot of focus is given on uh, maxima and minima in, from this particular chapter doing AM greater than GM inequality. But you can see that hardly any question comes from maxima and minima using the property of uh, AM greater than GM. Though AM greater than GM is important, but it is used in different chapters, not per se sequence series. So do you do not have to bother about doing all those big things which you might have left in class 11th. So we are going to study very strategically according to these four topics only. We do not have time to cover the entire thing. That is the reason we are going to concentrate only on these four key important topics. In day one, we are going to cover properties of AP and GP plus insertion of means. Insertion of means is a very simple topic. I have taught only three to four questions we just have to remember them. In tomorrow's lecture, we are going to do some of special series and questions on maxima and minima. That's the target. Though this chapter is the most important, that is why the assignment will also carry more than 15 questions for this particular chapter. Please take out your time and do them very, very diligently. Right? The target of the assignment is to be solved completely by on your own. Make sure that you do them in a test framework. What do I mean by test framework? That you should not devote more than five minutes to a single question. Take a break. Do your keep doing your studies after let's say before you are sleeping, just attempt another round of to those questions which you were not able to attempt. Right? On weekends, please try to devote two and a half hours. On weekdays, one hour will be sufficient for this course to continue. You can continue with whatever courses you are doing. Maybe you are going to coaching, maybe you are going to school, you are having tuitions, you are doing your class 12th. Please carry on with that. And I request everyone just do only the things which we are telling you. Otherwise, it is no need of having a mentored program. We have specifically selected all the questions so that we can teach you different, different aspects of math, right? So for every question in the video lecture, a lot of thought has been gone that why we have selected that question. So for example, a question might look easy, but our target was not to give you an easy question, but our target was to taught you, let's say logarithm modulus, which was used in that question. And through that, we'll revise the basics. Got it? So I hope you will enjoy the lectures. Moreover, enjoy. Let's do some dedicated stuff. We have only 70 days to prove ourselves. Let's just do it. God bless you all.